short animation of all the steps of the trigger mechanism, uh, which are described in detail in the, the supplemental document. <clears throat> so step one is the cam actuation. This is right after the trigger is released. The cam moves 90 degrees to actuate the pin. Step two is the engaging step. The lobes on the engaging ring push against the stator causing the gear teeth to mesh with the input shafts. Once the teeth are meshing, step three is the wind-up phase. So everything becomes rotating backwards. The trigger reset is out of plane with the trigger. So it's allowed to bypass the trigger as it gets to 20 degrees past the initial position. Step four is the disengage step. It's the opposite of the engage step. The lobes on the engaging ring push against the disengaging stator. The teeth stop meshing with the input shaft. And now the trigger reset is in line with the trigger. As the trigger rotates, the trigger reset pushes against the trigger, forcing the trigger to come down like this. Once this lip hits the trigger, it begins extending the trigger. Because there's a spring in here, the frictional force between the trigger and the wheel slowly builds up until the trigger reset clears the trigger. Now it's loaded again, and the trigger is free to be pulled by another actuation of a sensor.